Hello everyone, this is Ms. Fatma and this is a sneak peek into our lessons for this week. So let's begin. Things we'll be learning. First, we will learn how to write a personal statement. So I'll introduce it to you, you'll outline it, you'll look at examples and then you'll write one yourself. We'll also do some grammar and in grammar here we're going to talk about prepositional phrases, how you identify them and how you use them in your writing and we'll to also talk about their functions. So let's begin with the personal statement and first I'm going to talk about the preparation, how you prepare for it. Uh, before before even preparing for it, put in mind that you're only writing one personal statement. So don't mention the specific college or university name in that personal statement. Okay? Also, check university and college websites to see what skills, qualities they'd like you to have in specific. Make a list of things you want to include and start drafting early. Okay, maybe you'll have to write multiple drafts until you reach uh, the personal statement that you are convinced with submitting. Okay, the perfect one. Now, what to include in your personal statement? First, what sparked your interest in the subject? Why are you interested in that specific subject? Show your enthusiasm for the subject and relate how your previous studies are related to this course. Okay, so also mention relevant aspects of job, placement, work experience or volunteering you've ever done. Uh, write about your activities, hobbies that show interest in the subject and don't forget any training or achievements that highlight your skill. At the end, demonstrate that you're a great candidate and have skills and qualities that that university is looking for in specific. Now, how to write it? First of all, uh, you will start with, of course, your introduction. In your introduction, start with an opening sentence that encourages the reader to read on. You have to capture your reader's attention from the first sentence. Sometimes you lose your reader from the first sentence, and sometimes it's the opposite very important focus on that the introduction is very important if your introduction is uh, nice and exciting people will be encouraged to read on structure what you want to include in order that's most relevant to the unis and the colleges you are looking for okay and most of the time we start with the subject you had at universities and then your skills, and then your hobbies, your community service, okay? In your conclusion, reinforce your commitment and enthusiasm and skills suited to uni college. Tell them how uh, you can be a good asset, okay, to this university. Check for grammar and spelling because it has to be extremely perfect and leave time to get feedback and redraft so don't write last minute last thing we're going to talk about is the technical details uh, your personal statement is up to 4000 characters that's 47 lines of text including sp spaces and blank lines make sure you don't copy because there are soft ways that detect any similarities between yours and other uh, personal statements and this could jeopardize your application. Now a bit about the grammar we'll be doing this week. In prepositional phrases we'll be looking at 
what are prepositions uh, we talk about prepositions and their objects uh, we will define the prepositional phrase and look at examples we we'll look at prepositional phrases with compound objects and we would look at how prepositional phrases function I hope this was useful and thank you very much for listening